You wonder what's the difference between distortion correction and image roll correction on the DJI FPV? Then stay connected to this video. One first thing I just wanted to show you, let me show you a 1080p in 50 FPS footage and let us check the same footage in 60 FPS. We notice that this footage is a little bit more like cropped. So not a lot of people know that, but when you use the 50 FPS mode, in 4K 1080p or the 100 FPS, the footage is less cropped. When you use the 60 FPS mode in 4K and 1080p or the slow motion mode in 120 FPS, your footage is going to be a little bit more cropped in. I don't know why, just wanted to uh, point that out. So let us start with the first one. So this one is a footage in 1080p 60 FPS, but usually I'll fly in 4K 60 FPS. So on this footage have not applied any correction no image roll correction and no distortion correction if i activate the image roll correction let me show you what's the difference i'll put it on this screen you can notice that when i activate the image roll correction we lose 11 percent of the field of view and you might not see it on this one because it depends on the tilt of the camera but uh, some like pieces of the propellers still appear something i forgot uh, when no correction was activated on the footage the field of view of the camera was an equivalent of 15 millimeter which is like really a wide angle so i activate the image roll correction i lose 11% of the field of view. So now I'm going to show you the impact of the distortion correction. I'm going to remove the image roll correction. Uh, before I do that, please know that when you activate the image roll correction, you can see that the horizon is not flat. Don't you see at the bottom of the window? This is kind of distorted, like everything that's near the lens is kind of distorted. So I'm going to remove that effect now and let us activate the distortion correction. Let's go. All the lines are flat and the difference between the, like the first footage that we had with no image roll correction and no distortion correction is that we lose 20% of the field of view. So every time you activate something, a correction, you like your footage is more cropped in. And this is possible to activate them both at the same time. So let us check last footage where both corrections are activated at the same time. There we are. We lose 29% of the field of view. So at the end of the day, when you activate both corrections, your 15 millimeter focal length turns into a 28 focal length, which is not the same thing. So let me just sum this up. When I fly electronic internal stabilization is always on and so is the distortion correction because I want my lines to be flat, not curved. Okay, but question, uh, because this is a question that I have asked myself, when should you use image roll correction? There is a video that a YouTuber has made. It's called, I think it's called Captain Drone, and he's going to explain that to you. So let me show you flying in a straight line. So here I am flying in a straight line with the roll control on. It's going to look like I have a three axis gimbal, very, very stable. You can't get it that stable unless you turn the roll control on, especially if you yaw. So I'm going to yaw a little bit to the left and look at that. Super smooth, up and down, everything looks great. So if you're going to fly in end mode, I highly recommend turning on the roll control plus all the other stability controls. Okay, so basically say this image roll correction is legit in normal mode. I never fly normal mode, but it's just uh, for you to know that. You'll get footage like this. It doesn't matter if there's a breeze out or wind, your footage will look fantastic. Now, just in case I didn't explain it correctly, what I'm talking about is your yaw control. See how I'm yawing to the right and everything looks good. The horizon is flat. If I did not have the roll control on and I yawed, well, then my horizon might tilt. That's what happens on a drone with no three axis gimbal. When image roll correction is activated, it prevents your horizon to tilt. When it's activated, your horizon is always like flat. But when we fly in manual mode, this is not what we want. By the way, it's still in normal mode. So put the 
roll control on when flying in end mode and yaw smoothly and everything should look really good. There is there's something very interesting that he said. He said when you use the image roll correction, just yaw smoothly, no abrupt movement. Doesn't work in sport mode, you're wondering. As long as you do not make excessive turns or movements, it should look pretty good. So here we go. I'm flying around. I'm trying not to be too jerky on the sticks at a high speed, moving smoothly to the right. And here I'm going to pan and yaw follow some Canada geese as I'm moving the drone backwards through the air. Normally this would result on the DJI FPV drone with the horizon tilting all over the place, but it looked pretty good there. So even in sport mode, just yaw very smoothly. It can work, but... I'm in sport mode and look what happened. If you make excessive turns beyond 10 degrees, it looks pretty bad. So roll control, when the correction's on for roll, it's only good if you're making slight, slight movements. Now, it can also give you unwanted results. If you fly in manual mode, M mode, and you put the roll control on, well then, every time you roll, because in manual mode, that's exactly what you do, you roll the drone, every time you do that, it tries to fight you, and you get these weird, weird effects. It's like it's like you're making jerky roll movements when actually you're not. It gives you the opposite effect. So here I have the roll control off, nice and smooth. If I were to put the roll control on, it would not have looked as smooth as that. I'm flopping all over the place in the air. That's naturally what it should look like. Here I'm going to dive at the ground. I have the roll control off. If I had it on and I started to look at the ground and move all over the place, it would not appear this smooth as I'm banking the drone all over the place. So yeah, in M mode, I do not suggest turning on the roll control. Okay, so I like really never knew what it was good for, but from the beginning, uh, when I just got my drone, uh, recommended by other YouTubers. I've never activated that role, that image role correction, and I finally understand why. So to summarize, use the role correction when you're flying in normal mode and sport mode mostly, and keep your turns to very smooth. Don't don't tilt the drone more than 10 degrees, or else it's not gonna it's not gonna benefit you. And you you probably never use it in manual mode. It's just gonna make your smooth image look less smooth. Okay, so you said everything. Uh, it's not recommended to use that image roll correction unless you fly in normal modes or in sport mode. Cheers.